Okay, uh, today we'll be talking about um, extracting of the uh, bar as a result of mapping of sand bar from 1974 to 2024. So you can see the area that has been given. Already we've done that from uh, the previous work where I actually used the data from United States Geological Survey Agency to carry out analysis using remote sensing data and using app GIS 10.6 coupled with Python to extract sandbar and thereby extract also the, the rivers from 1974 to 2024 and at the end of the day we came up with a a useful information which you can become model. You can see how from 2024, 2014, 2002, uh, 2004, you can see 1994, 1984, and 1974. Yes, you uh, this thing can also be carried out using NDVI using normalized differential index to get this result. You can still use that. But ever uh, because of we use combined GIS tools with uh, Python programming, it was fast and very quick to solve the problem, which means that we can actually work in a large area and within a mini few minutes all the results will be proceed uh, will, uh, will come out uh, in a very nice way. And thereby we can actually use this to uh, create a model where we can also use it for forecasting. And the useful thing about it, at the end of the day, we have the statistical report. So we can, I can open the attribute table, so which you can see the length and area, although they're in meters. When we extract them, we we'll convert them to uh, kilometers and do some analysis to understand what is actually going on within the area, what has been happening over time. So you can see the diff how it has been, the, it has been, the meandering pattern of the river has been uh, changing over time. And it is also part of the activity that has been ongoing of, uh, we can attribute to climate change activities where we have excess rainfall, to the uh, excess rainfall, the uh, sediment transport system also, will affect the various activities such as sandbar, point bar deposits, and the rest of them. And so which we can use them to, to study the activities of this place and also take uh, bring that to see segment samples to carry out uh, uh, further analysis. And also we also have other features that could influence these human activities to carry out the land -to land cover of this of this location we could see the anthropogenic activities that have been happening in this place. So can you subscribe to my channel which uh, if you also need uh, how to do this using the adopted method I can see uh, make a video for that and send to you. Thank you.